this thing's on. So let's go. Welcome everyone into the house. This is going to be my vlog uh, episode number two. And I'm trying to think of a title for these vlog series. I like, uh, I like In the House. I think I might name it In the House. Um, or I might go with Gambler's Advice. Um, let me know if you guys have any ideas for what I should call. I mean, obviously vlog series is the easy one. That's what everyone calls their vlogs. Um, but I, I, I'm trying to think of a new new title for this. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking either Gambler's Advice or or uh, In the House. Let me know if you guys have any ideas or if you like either of those, let me know. So we're going to continue on. This, uh, this video, this vlog... Uh, this advice video is going to be about bankrolls. Uh, I'm going to just kind of talk to you guys about bankrolls, how I choose a bankroll, uh, you know, how much it, it matters, what uh, bankroll you choose, um, just kind of go through it. So again, I'm just going to kind of throw the dice. I'm going to have some fun myself. I'm going to play around. Uh, again, these videos are not really to show you guys the gameplay. Uh, that's just for me to do something and to just kind of have some fun along the way while I talk to you guys. So I'm going to set a point here real quick and we'll get into it. All right, well, that's a uh, three cracks. One, two, three cracks. That's name of the game. That's not going to set a point. Let's set a point here real quick and then we'll get into the, the juice of the video. All right, dice are set. And there we not go. That's six one. That's seven. That's come out seven. That's a natural winner. Seven. All right. Well, we are going to set a point at some point <laughs> in the future, and then once we do that, we'll get into this video. All right. We got a nine six three center of my field nine center of the field nine. Okay. So we got our point set. Let's talk a little bit about bankrolls. So, again, this video is going to, this isn't geared just towards low limit players. This isn't geared towards high limit players. This is just going to be kind of how you decide what your bankroll is going to be. Now, if you are one of those people that have a strategy that you like to play, then you're going to have a little easier time developing your bankroll. Let's say for right now, I'm gonna do one of my old classics. I'm gonna do the 66 and up, okay? If you don't know what that video is, um, I tell you to go watch my old ones, but man, the quality on those were not too great. I'm not gonna lie with you guys, but I'm still proud of them. That was a fun time for me too. Um, but the 66 and up is basically three units on each number. Obviously, we're going to need some change here. So, uh, yeah, it's just three units per number. And as I go along, I add one unit with every win. I add one unit to every number. Now, being in that our point is the nine, we can put these in odds. But if you're just playing on any random shooter, you don't need that. So, for today, I have a bankroll of $300, and I'm playing basically $66, $69 if you're playing a pass or don't pass for 5 bucks, $69 per hand. I really should have a bankroll of around $700. I don't have that. I only have $300 in the rack. Um, I guess I could bring this down here to show you guys. There you go. Or maybe, uh, actually... Just to get it a little closer to the camera, let's start putting the bankroll right here. Yeah, I like that. See, we're all learning as we go along, too. Yeah, I like that. All right. So we got our bankroll. Again, this isn't what I would recommend. I would recommend... The, the rule of thumb really is 10 times whatever your average hand is. So, again, we're playing with about $70 per hand. I really should have about 700 uh, you could probably get away with 500 uh, you know, with your wins and losses for the day. You could probably still play about 10 hands unless, you know, you just get on an ice-cold table. Then you're not going to be able to play those 10 hands. Um, 
in craps, a hand is basically once a shooter has the dice. Once one shooter has the dice, as long as he has the dice, that is a hand. It's unlike, you know, blackjack or whatever, you know, a hand in blackjack is literally just one hand. You make a bet, you win or lose, you make another bet. So in craps, one hand is as long as one shooter has the dice. So a hand of $70 could last you an hour. That's what's so awesome about craps is you make one investment of, you know, 50, 60, 70, eh, crap, you know, even 20 bucks, you know. Uh, whatever that original investment is, as long as you don't put any more into that hand, you only invested 20 bucks, and that hand can last literally an hour or more. Um, it can also last like five seconds, so it can be as quick as blackjack. But anyways, I'm getting a little off topic here. So bank rolls, just right off the bat, I would say multiply uh, whatever your average hand is, multiply it by at least eight. Try to have at least eight hands that you can go to the casino and play, because like I just said, if you do get unlucky and you get those 0.7 outs, hands can literally last like five seconds, guys. Especially if you're like, you know, one or two people at the table, hands can go like that. And that's no fun. It's part of the game. You just got to accept it, move on, try to get the next one, or, you know, you go home. One or the other. So I would recommend at least eight times whatever that average. Now, if you are like me and sometimes you don't go with a set strategy, sometimes I do. I, I like, you know, I show you guys strategies. I like to play strategies, but uh, that's a whole different video just talking about strategies. That'll be one of them. Um, sometimes I just go to the casino and I want to play. You know, maybe I bring a hundred bucks or something. I just want to go play. So then you got to think of, okay, well, how long do I want to play? So that's where you're, you might have already kind of decided on your bankroll, you know, okay, this week I have, I have $200 that I want to play with. Then you have to decide, okay, how long do I want to play? And that's where your bankroll comes into play because you may be a higher player. You may play like $50 a hand with a hundred or 200 bucks. That's not going to last you long. So then your bankroll is going to determine kind of how you play. You can go for it. You can try to go big, you know, go big with a big win. Um, but you got to know that your time at the table is going to be limited if it goes wrong, which again, the odds favor it going wrong. <laughs> so there's no getting around that. Uh, so that, that's kind of the two, two lanes you can go down is whether you want your time at the table to kind of dictate what your bankroll is, or do you want your bankroll to dictate your time at the table, uh, one or the other. Again, your bankroll is also going to determine your wins and obviously your losses. <laughs> um, again, I, I think I've stressed this enough on my channel, but if I haven't yet, uh, only bring a bankroll that you are willing to lose. Because like I just mentioned, the odds say that you should lose it. <laughs> um, at least not all of it. Um, as long as you play smart, you shouldn't lose all of it. But the odds highly favor the casino on every single bet on this table. So you need to bring a bankroll that you are willing to lose. Now, again, that's a whole different subject about advantage play and all that stuff. That's, that's gonna be a whole nother uh, video here in this vlog series, but this video, I'm gonna try to stay on topic as much as possible and just talk to you about bankrolls. So again, uh, let me, let me know what you guys think about, like, how, how do you play? Uh, kind of like with my first video. Uh-oh, we got a camera malfunction here. Let me coach you back up here. There we go. Sorry about that. Like I said, guys, you're getting the raw and unedited footage here. Uh, I'm, again, I'm still down on a computer, so you guys get the, the iPhone footage. Um, high quality, I know. But anyways, uh... Like I was, I was talking about, uh, you know, go ahead, give me some comments. Let me know what, what kind of bankrolls you like to play with. Do you like your bankroll determining how long you get to play? Or do you like to go, you have an idea of how long you want to play, so then you make a bankroll for how long you want to play. Um, I would say that's the better way to do it, to try to just kind of like maybe save up or, you know, every week put aside some money so that you can build up a bankroll Aside from just, you know, oh, hey, I got an extra hundred bucks this week. Let's go have some fun at the casino and see how long we can play type of thing. 
can you win like that? Of course you can. Can you lose like that? Of course you can. <laughs> um, so it, it's just about me being a little smarter with your bankroll. And is that going to help you win? I'll be honest, no, not really. Uh, so what's the point of this video? It's, again, just to kind of tell you guys, it it's all about having fun, you know? It's all about just getting on the game, getting on the table, playing the game, enjoying, you know, your friends, the company, the atmosphere, the casino. And, you know, typically, as long as you're, you're having fun and you want to stay there as long as possible, your bankroll is going to determine that. Uh, now, I'm not saying losing is fun. We all know winning is more fun than losing. But... If you're not going to have fun, if you're going there just to win, no bankroll is going to help in that. Now you you just there's no amount of money that you can bring that will help you win. That's just not a thing. It's uh, it's irrelevant. You know the casino doesn't care if you bring a dollar or you bring a million dollars. They can take it all the same. Is what I'm saying. So uh, let me see what else I wanted to talk about here. Let you know what. Let's get another roll going. Um, let's see if we can make a little money here. Okay, well, naturally, that's a 437 outline away. Dunce to pay. So I guess I talked a little too much. Uh, the, the dice literally went cold here. It, it did get cold here in uh, North Florida overnight. Uh, we had a big cold front that just came through. That was fun last night. So I guess the dice went a little cold on me. I was talking a little too much. I'll have to try to heat them up. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, let me try to set another point. There we go. And I'll have a couple more things to say in just a second, but let's set this point. Looks like it's going to be eight. Easy eight. Six and a two. Six and a deuce. It's easy eight. All right, I think we can hit that one. We, we, we should be able to hit that one. Um... We're going to put 20 behind the line just because I feel like we can hit that. No specific reason. I just feel like we can hit it. And, oh, jeez. This is amateur hour over here with this, with this phone. I'll tell you what, I need to get a stand or something for it because I don't have a stand. But like I told you guys at the beginning of this, this isn't going to be professional. <laughs> this is going to be raw, unedited, you know, just... Uh, I'm just kind of trying to get by. I'm just trying to get you guys some videos while uh, I wait for for the good stuff. So again, I apologize. You know, I I debated whether or not I should even like do these videos, but I've been wanting to do a series like this, and I actually have filmed some of these uh, things. Yeah, we gotta figure out what's going on here, guys. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay. There, maybe that, that should do it. Okay, I hope that does it. We'll find out here real soon. Okay, so the uh, other thing I want to talk about with the bankroll is you should know what the limits are at your casino you're going to. You should know, am I going to play on a $5 table? Am I going to play on a $10 table? Or am I going to play on a 15 uh, Here in the East, on the East Coast... Uh, especially in the northern states, uh, it's very hard to find five or ten dollar tables. Most of them are fifteen. It's not to say you can't find them. I have found some of them, uh, but they're getting hard to find. So that definitely plays a role, and when you are deciding on what your bankroll should be, you should know. Okay, if I am if I'm playing on a fifteen dollar table, <laughs> I'm just gonna recommend to you guys right now. That's probably like a $500 bankroll. If you're bringing less than that, then no pun intended, you're really rolling the dice. <laughs> um, can you win? You know, again, like I said, if you take $10 to the casino, you could walk out with a thousand. That's why we all go because every so often you hear those, those fantasy stories, it seems like, where, you know, some guy went to the casino with a dollar he played one slot machine and, you know, he won the jackpot or whatever. Yeah, those happen. Are those likely to happen to you? No, they're likely to happen to the other person. That's how it always works, right? Um, but again, in all seriousness, if 
it, it's very important to know what the limits are on the table you're going to. So know that before you go. Uh, whether that means you need to call them up, whether that means, you know, uh, maybe you just take a little scout, you know, uh, you maybe go, but you only go with like a hundred bucks, uh, assuming it's like a local casino. If you're planning a trip like the Vegas or something like that, uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, you can find all sorts of limits in Vegas. They, they got them all. But if it's like your local casino that maybe you're just new to this or, you know, maybe you're in town visiting, I don't know, family or, or something like that. Uh, you, you really got two options. You can call them up, which I've done plenty of casinos. I've called them up and said, hey, are your craps tables open? What's the limits on them? What side beds? And they'll be happy to talk to you. Uh, if they're slammed, they're, they might pass you off to someone a little higher up and just, they might, they honestly might not know as much as you're asking. So they'll give you as good as a response as they can. I've had that happen before, but you really should know before you go is, is what I'm saying. So, uh, let me see here. The, yeah, that, that's probably the gist of deciding for a bankroll. If you guys have any more uh, suggestions here in the comments, uh, let me know. Uh, for those of you that wanted a little more of a roll to occur, I'll play through it a little bit. We'll, uh, we'll get some rolls going. Uh, again, this is really just for the vlog action. But we'll get some rolls and see what we got. All right, there's a five, four, one, five. That's no feel, fever, five. Hold on me on that one. All right, so that would win 21. And as this strategy goes, I would drop a dollar. I'll drop a dollar. And I would get everything up by a unit. Now, I'm lucky in this situation because the point is eight. I actually don't have to drop that dollar. So I get to keep it, which is nice. However, when I do hit this point, because I'm going to hit it, um, <laughs> when I hit the point, I'm going to have to invest a little more of that money that I was saving because I had odds. Uh, I'm going to have to put it up here so that I can get back to the proper bet. Uh, but I really, this was a strategy that I really liked playing, uh, especially when I was forming my channel, when I first made my channel. Uh, I really liked this. And... Uh, it has huge potential. It can also wipe you out immediately, especially if the rolls are going like they are right now because I just hit another seven. Uh, so, you know, with every strategy, it can win and lose. So, uh, all right, that is going to be it for episode number two. Uh, again, this was the bank roll episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, I'm going to try to do these because I'm not uh, giving you guys the quality or um, I'll just, I guess, try to up the quantity. So maybe I'll do like two or three of these uh, a week and hope you guys enjoy them. We're going to try to keep them to right around 20 minutes, uh, give or take. I know the last one went a little over that for 30 minutes. So we're going to try to keep them in between 10 and 20 minutes. I know the longer videos are hard to watch, and I understand that, guys. So I'm going to try to do better on that. But until the next one, uh, I'm going to sign off for now. And I'll see you guys uh, in episode three. Um, I haven't decided which, which one I want to do next, but I do have a lineup of things I want to talk about. So. I'll see you guys in the next one, but again, before you go, remember you're always welcome back here in the house anytime. I'll see you guys in the next one.